is up everybody, it is Master Rolf here, welcome back to another Call of Duty Heroes gameplay and I've got some awesome awesome news as you can see from the screen right above me to the side or to the right to the left, I don't know you can see that Master Rolf myself was actually number one in the world last night uh, sadly this is a photo, but uh, I am not number one anymore because I lost points overnight while I slept but I was actually number one in the world uh, by an alright margin, about 20 points and I was super, super happy. I actually streamed a bit of this, pushing to get to number one. And we finally did it, and it's insane. I just wanted to show you this uh, before we went and started raiding, because as you can tell, I was pretty freaking excited by it. Anyway, let's jump onto the game. This should be the game. Uh, we were attacked. We, we always get attacked loads. Uh, but let's just go back onto this and have a look. Uh, how did we do? We only got one star. As you can see, I actually won my first defense here. Uh, but otherwise, I get one star, two star, or even three star. But let's go on to it. Yeah, we're not first at the moment because we drop points. It's really hard to keep your points up here. You have to buy a shield like every single night. Uh, but I guess I'm like third at the moment. Yeah, I'm third at the moment with my levels. Um, Phoenix is first. Eddie Lace is second. Uh, but we were first, so that's it. I'm happy now. I'm gonna stop pushing. I'm not gonna push anymore. I got to first, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like retire from uh, top player pushing levels. Anyway, let's collect this. I wanted to go and show you some raids today. Uh, we're going to do some multiplayer raids. And I'm going to show you how I raid and what I think the best tactics are to get really high up in the in the rankings. Um, so, first of all, spawning troops and then using your selenium, selenium, I can't even remember the name of it, is super cheap. It only costs three to get all your troops ready. Uh, so, it is really, really cheap. Let's jump into the online and see if we can find a match. Alright, we found a match straight away. This is only a plus one win, which is usually what I get. Now, I'm going to show you a really cheap, quick, not cheap, but like really quick and easy way to destroy a base like this. Uh, if he had lots of defenses around his base, and you know, you'd lose a few troops, all you need to do is actually spawn up one hero, get into your chopper gunner, destroy his, uh, his comm center, command center, like that. Uh, you can destroy other stuff as well while you've got the, uh, the chopper gunner in the air. He flies away. We can retreat, and we've actually won, and we got his his points. So that's it. There's no fanning around. There's no destroying everything. There's no rebuilding troops. Uh, it will just cost you a few energy points. Uh, but energy points are super easy to get. If you've got multiplayer and just destroy a load of bases without using uh, any kill streaks, you're going to get those points so, so easily. Um, so definitely do that. But yeah, there you go. That's one point. It's a really quick, easy, slightly cheap and cheeky way, especially if... Um, I actually did it to one of the highest levels on this. Uh, his base was incredibly good and hard, and I couldn't beat it. But I went to my chopper gunner about three times, destroyed his comm center, and then kind of ran out and, like, laughing. Like, mwahaha! Because uh, I didn't even send a trooper to attack him. Um, yeah, so that's how you, do, how you do it. It's really easy to do. But otherwise, obviously, you, you want to go for um, you want to go for destroying this. So what I recommend doing is uh, using, again, pretty much uh, a third... A third juggernaut or a half juggernaut to the others, uh, riflemen or just assault at the moment because I don't actually have anybody else. So put the jugs in. It's always better to use more if necessary because obviously if you have a lot of them going together, it's a lot more effective than not, than having a few of them. But hopefully these can go take this out, and now I should have enough assault uh, to actually start destroying this comm center. Uh, without any issues, so hopefully that's going to take them down. I wouldn't usually now use more troops, but for the purpose of the video, I'm actually going to send in some more troops just to speed it up because we don't want to be sat here watching this uh, get destroyed for the whole time. But this guy's hardly got any loot. Uh, it's not really worth me like going and taking out everything in his base. But as you can see, none of his machine guns can touch me. Uh, we're taking this down. This is one mechanic that I have actually requested them to fix. Not fix, but basically delete from the game is this miss mechanic. I mean, who wants to miss a shot? How can you miss a shot? They're like a meter away from this massive tarpaulin tent, uh, and they're missing shots. I have no idea how they're doing it, but they're doing it somehow. Anyway, let's retreat from that. We got our one reputation point. I believe if you can only get one reputation point, this is fine to do. But if you can get like 12, you actually won't get all the reputa reputation points if you do this tactic. So it's just something to bear in mind. Uh, it's only really this tactic for if you're pushing to become like top, top players. Uh, my alliance at the moment, guys, as well, uh, is currently fourth. We have a few free spaces. No, we don't. Uh, to basically get in here, 
uh, you need to be uh, 300 rep points or higher. We'll actually be uh, removing some of these people soon until they get up to that point because it's kind of like a uh, kind of a point that you need to get to just to keep it fair. Uh, obviously, we're not really pushing to come first or whatever. It'd be nice to get into the top three. At the moment, we've actually got uh, 9,399, so we will hopefully jump up soon. Now, they've just ahead of us as well, so it's really, really tight up there. But hopefully, we'll uh, we'll hop into third place soon, which would be pretty nice. Anyway, let's go and attack again. We're going to find another base. We'll try and get a few bases done in this uh, and try and destroy a few. So, this again is only a one star. That, I think that's the problem. When you get to this kind of level, uh, it's like getting very high level in Clash of Clans or in Boom Beach or whatever. Uh, you just kind of have to keep on doing the same thing until you start... Until you start destroying everything. So I'm going to spawn a load of them in. Uh, we're just going to go and try and wipe this side of the base out. So we can actually start doing it. Now this guy is... Um, what's this guy's name? I think it's like Woolcroft or something. I can't even remember. His, uh, his ability that we have at the moment is actually smoke. Now you can see this radius here. He can throw a smoke bomb in any of this radius. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll use that uh, to, the, to these troops. So basically what you do is you throw your smoke bomb in. And anybody in that circle... Very much like in Boom Beach, cannot be seen as well. They will get, I believe it's like a 75% miss. Uh, like, nobody else will be able to destroy him. But I'm, you know, it's it's pretty good. But personally, I always use Captain Price and his Chopper Gunner. Because the damage that the Chopper Gunner does is just incredible. Alright, come on guys, let's take this down. And once we've taken this down, we'll run home laughing. And we'll have our one more point. Come on. There we go. It's gone. We've got our one star. We can retreat. Another victory. Uh, it's really good to use. So what I'll use now is I'll use another troop as well that you might not have seen. Woolcroft, his name is. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go and do a battle. We'll use all our troops. And then I'll show you some brand new troops that I haven't even used yet. Uh, which I'm kind of excited to do. So I really wanted to save it for this video. Um, let's go spawn these out and just go use them all. Hopefully we'll get like a harder base that we can kind of... Alright, so this here will give us two uh, reputation points, which is obviously better than one, but still not that great. But to do this one, I always would use Captain Price to start off with, bring out his chopper gunner, and if you're going to take out a base, don't go for that comm center in the center. Go for all of his ground defenses, unless you're using air troops, go for his air defenses, obviously that's pretty standard. So there we go, that's that taken out. And then I recommend going and seeing what he has in here because if he has stuff in here which this person doesn't uh you actually really need to take them out first because they can do a, a serious amount of damage i've lost a few matches uh just on that really so definitely do that i'm gonna spawn everybody up i like to scatter them around the base just because it, it kind of speeds it up because they all destroy uh, a little bit of something so there we go all my troops are out we're hopefully going to go through and annihilate this uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pan this down a bit. we got like a different angle now. It's kind of like a, a side view angle. And this is as close as we can get. So I can like see uh, exactly what this guy is shooting. Yeah, you shoot that tarpaulin tent, sir. <laughs> I think I like it kind of like uh, halfway between tilted and not tilted. But we're on 75% at the moment. This comms, uh, communication center, sorry, command center in the center uh, has pretty much like... 35% health or, or damage to the to the actual base itself. So there we go. That is that destroyed. We got our two repu uh, reputation points for that. Uh, yeah, we did. And we also got very, very little gold and oil. But that's fine. I believe our storages are, are looking fairly healthy. Uh, recently to my base. Uh, the only problem is I'm going to show this. And you guys, if you are playing this game, you're going to know basically what I've done. Uh, I've got higher level machine guns. Uh, they're all like level 3 now. My walls are upgraded. And these corner walls are upgraded even more. Because I've noticed that my troops, personally, always go for the corner base uh, walls. Because if they destroy this, they can open two ways. One left, one right. Uh, so they go for that because it's the most effective. So I've upgraded those. So I'm going to upgrade these as well. Um... But yeah, it, it's alright. I've also got stuff like all the way around the edge, so it takes more time. And I'm hoping people run out of time, which seems to have worked at the moment. Anyway, with that said and done, we're going to go and use a brand new troop. I have not used this troop yet, so I do not know what this troop does. This could be great. This could be an epic fail. I have no idea. But I'm spawning all of them out. Let's go and attack and see what this does. So I'm hoping it does well. I believe it's an RPG. It says it focuses on walls. Alright, this is a good base to test it on. So if I put one of these down, what the hell is it doing? <laughs> what are you doing, sir? 
I am so, so confused right now. What? What was that? Well, literally, what was that? I'm going to spawn a couple over here. <laughs> get down. <laughs> Alright, so they destroy walls, and then they get... Oh, my God, that's actually nearly made me cry with laughter. What am I watching? <laughs> we just got people worming everywhere. Seriously? <laughs> Uh, okay, so these guys uh, destroy walls. Oh, I cannot believe that. That just looks ridiculous. That looks the most retarded thing I have ever seen. They just like, like, worm up to a wall, destroy it, and then they stand up and start shooting. Oh god, I do not know. We can, uh, okay, yeah, that's what they do. They destroy walls. I guess they do very much what a wall breaker does on Clash of Clans, except it doesn't commit suicide. Uh, because these are real humans, and that wouldn't be right. Uh, they they get, they get up and go fight. So I just I just don't know. That's just that's just absolutely tickled me pink. That is crazy. Okay, so yeah, that is those stupid things. Um, they're quite expensive as well. I don't really know if they're worth it to just kind of go up to the wall. But then if you go on here, you can see that we have got machines. So I'm actually going to use this. Uh, this is the dragon fire. I believe you can actually control this on the game. Uh, yeah, I think you can, which is really good. But we'll bring out another wall breaker and uh, some other stuff. And we'll go and attack with these. I just, I can't believe what that guy just did. Oh my god. Oh well. Alright, so what have we got to look out for? Now, this is actually fairly easy for us now. Uh, because the reason I say that is... Oh god. There we go. They destroyed that wall. Uh, the reason this is quite easy for us is if we take out this, uh, that there, which is air defense... These air troops, in theory, I say in theory, should not be shot by machine gun turrets. Um, so I'm going to spawn a few out. No, it definitely does not look like they're getting shot. So I'm going to spawn all of them out. And they are now, in theory, untouchable. Nothing is going to harm them because the air defense or the rocket launcher, whatever it is, uh, missile launcher, has been taken out. And these can actually walk, oh, walk, fly over the walls and destroy everything. Now, they actually have pretty good health. Uh, they're relatively powerful as well, so it's a pretty good tactic if you know there's a base uh, That you want to find because you can always go back get your troops ready and then go attack a base uh, If there's a base, you know that has like one uh, Air defense things you could go and spawn all these up and you're pretty much gonna win So it's pretty insane. How high do they fly? They don't really fly that high just a little bit higher than everything to be honest But yeah, there we go. That is the dragon fire and that is how you destroy a base without basically being touched. Um, if you want to, you just take out that first place and you're you're good as gold. You're ready to go. I'm going to spawn him, move him over there. You can control what your heroes do slightly as well. Uh, so they can run over there. And everybody's going to converge on this now. In they come. And they can also go inside each other, apparently. <laughs> so there we go. That is that destroyed. And that, guys is Call of Duty Heroes. I hope you have enjoyed the gameplay today. If you have, make sure you smash the like button down below and also comment on anything else you want me to do on Call of Duty Heroes. I'm going to run through the campaign as well pretty soon and show you how to do them all, um, which is going to be really good. But until the next episode, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.